Hi, this is Mark Sewell from Ski Visions, and today we're going to work with the tuning stick. This is my tuning stick. I've made a lot of unique ski tuning products over the last 30 years, but this and my stones are really my best work outside of the original design of the tools. This stick is simple, it is incredibly precise, and it is hugely informative. Some tuners say a finger or a fingernail is all I need, and that simply is not so. This stick has three of your five senses. You hear it, you see it, and you actually feel it. It will vibrate violently on burrs. It's incredible how much communication comes off this silly piece of plastic. No finger or fingernail can do any of that. This literally takes the mystery out of edge tuning. It always keeps you informed of where you are, the status of your edges, and you are not clueless ever when you use a tuning stick. You really always know on your edges exactly where you are, and you should know with experience exactly where you want to get to and that's why it's so perfect. It will tell you all that information if you'll just take the time to learn how to use it. See, this is the only way you can know all of that. Otherwise, you're just simply guessing. This is the only way to know all that information. There are two reasons why this works. First, this is very hard, brittle plastic. Second, you could use far more pressure on this tool than you can do with any fingernail or finger. So the combination of hard brittle plastic and being able to apply a huge amount of pressure to it is why it works so well. I originally developed a tuning stick about seven or eight years ago because I wanted to prove on the bench that stones tuned as well as files if not better. And so I developed this as proof on the bench. What I didn't realize at the time was that I was going to produce a product that communicated far more than that simple premise. I didn't realize I was developing a product that it would communicate by three of your five senses. And this communicates exactly that way. And that's why it is so important as a tuning tool to communicate to you. Because otherwise staring at edges doesn't tell you anything. And, finger, and frankly, finger, fingernails don't tell you anything either other than maybe your edge has a burr on it. This is way more detailed analysis uh, than a finger or fingernail. So let's get to it. First rule, no dainty. None of this business where you're just touching the end of the stick to the ski. Okay? You get it under your index finger where you can apply some real pressure to it because you're trying to read how that edge is going to perform Okay, under pressure. You can't make this pig sing without giving it a bit of a poke. Now I'm going to try to do everything very close up so I can capture all three. Sound, vibration, and shavings. Here's a bird edge. Three things are happening. I can't show you, but this stick is vibrating as it's cutting on that edge. You can see the excessive amount of shavings that are developed, and I believe you should be able to hear the sound uh, on the video. This is a very good edge if your bucket list includes major ACL surgery. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to take this bad edge and polish it correctly so it turns quickly into a good edge. And all I'm doing is I'm using the ceramic stones and the ski sharp to do this with. All it takes is a couple of seconds of polishing that edge to remove that burr that's on it and give it some polished precision. Now you have a sharp edge. This is still a really sharp edge, but the stick's no longer vibrating. You're not collecting excessive shavings. And this, the stick was actually squealing on that last edge, and now the squeal of the stick is now gone. Now I'm gonna show you an edge that's too dull. I'm just gonna take a ceramic stone and soften this edge a little bit. Now 
Now you have an edge that's too dull. You're not getting hardly any shavings. Uh, no noise, no nothing. And you'll notice how little amount of metal, how little work I'm doing to create these edge, edge differentials. People don't understand. You almost have to do no work to edges to make them right. And that's why we use stones instead of files. You rarely need a file. Stones do an amazing job uh, uh, on, uh, on ski edges. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to bring this over dull edge back to a sharp polished edge and I'm just going to use the green stones in the ski sharp. And it really takes very little work to bring that dull edge back up to speed. Now we got a really too sharp edge again and all you do now is use the ceramic stones to polish out that uh, extra sharpness and you're back in business. This is a really consistently sharp edge now though. It just needs polish to become a really good edge. You can quickly learn the feel, sound, and look of each when using the uh, tuning stick. Very little practice is needed if you use the right amount of pressure on the stick as I have shown. And what is really important, you can get precise consistency ski edge to ski edge. A lot of tuners end up spending way too much time on the first edge and as they go edge to edge they do less work and so they get inconsistency on the edges. I make my own ski vices at, which I use for snowboards and skis and I like to put two skis up. So when I compare my ski edges I'm comparing them real time ski to ski so I can make sure this stick is giving me absolute precision uh, from ski to ski. It takes very little practice to become an expert with this tool if you just follow these instructions. Otherwise you're, 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 uh, you're just guessing.